Hello everyone. I'm sorry that I've missed out the last couple of days. Um, there's been lots going on. It's been quite exciting. But um, more about that another time. Today I would like to talk about a really effective and beautiful method called the Hoponopono method. Um, so this is all about sort of making peace with your inner demons really. Um, but it's a really effective way. It was created by a Hawaiian doctor, uh, Dr. Hugh Len, and it's called the Hoponopono Method, and I will put a link to it underneath this video. Um, so basically, just to explain a bit more about the method, it is a way of kind of letting go of resentment um, and of really going through a cycle of process to acknowledge and let go seemingly uh, negative, in quotes, emotions. So I personally believe that no emotions are negative. What you have is emotions that make you contract and emotions that help you expand or feelings and energies, um, ways of being, ways of feeling and ways of operating the world that will help you grow and then ways uh, of operating that will um, make you feel like contracting and breaking down. And um, the ones that we want to promote, presumably, uh, are the ones that help us expand and grow and learn. Um, so this technique is, I find, a very useful and interesting one. Um, whoever is watching, please just comment so that I can see who it is. Um, and welcome, hello. <laughs> Today's mindful moment is on the Haponopono method. So the first step of this method is, I'm sorry. And so you can be dealing really with any, I mean, before I go deeper into that, I should mention that you can actually apply it to anything. So it can be um, a relationship um, misunderstanding with somebody else. It can be something that you feel disempowered about all on your own. Um, inside your own mind. Um, it can be at work, it can be at um, in your family. Um, so the vocabulary that you use may be different if you're doing it at work, um, unless you have a particularly open workplace, um, but we'll go through the method. So step one is I'm sorry. So you can be sorry to the person that there's a misunderstanding with. Um, you can be sorry that there's a misunderstanding, even if you sound, stand firmly in your belief system, yeah, that you can be sorry that there's some kind of upset going on. Um, so I'm sorry, and really acknowledging what's going on. Uh, the second stage is please forgive me. And this is a real honest sort of dive into humility and also into a request for, you know, will you see this? Will you see me in a good light again? You know, do you choose to let go and release these, these feelings that are uh, making us contract or making yourself contract? Um, and do you choose then a path that is more expansive and um, through the power of choice, release yourself of the binds of this incident or whatever it is that's holding you back. So I'm sorry, please forgive me. And then thank you. So thank you for the learning. Thank you for the connection. Thank you for anything that you feel grateful for. Thank you is such an important uh, resonance, you know, to, to actually be appreciative. Um, even when there's a misunderstanding can go so far in solidifying um, the good feeling in a relationship and if you like sort of putting a uh, deposit in the emotional bank account of what you really appreciate. So stating what we appreciate is so key in building relationships and maintaining positive relationships. So this is why this is such an effective step. And the last stage is I love you. So the last stage is acknowledging that I care. So if I love you, those words, I mean, are a bit too much to say at some, to somebody at work, you can say, I care about you. I care about your well-being. You know, you can say an interpretation that shows that you care, that that is coming from your heart, that this is a human experience um, uh, that's being shared and that you acknowledge your place in that dynamic and your capacity to... Uh, change that dynamic for the better to sort of step in the direction of a deeper connection so 
that in a, that in a nutshell, the Ho'oponopono method um, uh, is, and I will put links below if you're interested in finding out more. Hello to whoever's there. And the first stage is, I'm sorry. The second is, please forgive me. The third is, thank you. And the final is, I love you or I appreciate you. So, um, if you've got any questions about that, please put it in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. Um, really excited to be back. Sorry about that two day break there. Um, we'll be back every day uh, with more videos, but I'm gonna put some info about the Ho'oponopono method below. It's, an, it's a Hawaiian method um, created by a Hawaiian doctor and I find it to be very useful. Um, you can apply it to yourself. You can apply it to if you work with um, psychoanalysis, the inner child. Um, you can do it when you know you've got a straightforward misunderstanding and just go through them, go through that process um, in your conversation with whoever the misunderstanding is with, and notice what happens. See if you become more effective at ironing out those misunderstandings in a really smooth, loving, and caring way that ultimately brings you closer together. Um, so misunderstandings can happen just when you have a clash of values. It can also just happen when there's a clash of miscommunication and actually you're coming at, at things from the same place. It's just been mis misunderstood because of one stress or another um, or a failure to communicate a certain thing. So this method can be used personally, professionally and internally. And I'd really be, um, I'd love to hear about um, you applying it so please do apply it and see how it works for you all right see you tomorrow bye